Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? My name is Nicole and I can be found on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, um, all of those good things at Alpaca My Yarn, Mad Designs. I'm just a little snippet about me, I guess. Like I said, my name is Nicole. I have been happily married for 27 years. I have three adult children. Um, I have a 26 year old son, a 24 year old son, and a 18 year old daughter. Um, both of my boys have daughters of their own, so that makes me a grandmother to Madeline, who is three, and Xelia, who is two. Um, I live in Canada, um, and I have to say that this is something that is very out of the ordinary for me. I am never the person that is in front of the camera. I am the person that always tries to stay behind the camera, and I try and catch, you know, all those good memories. Um, but I've decided that I'm going to branch out, and I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. And I'm going to give this a shot. Um, I've been crocheting for roughly a little bit over three years. I started when I found out that I was going to be a grandma. Um, and since the day that I picked up that hook in my yarn, I, I haven't stopped. Um, I've been watching everybody's YouTube channels and Facebook, um, Instagram, Pinterest boards, um, like I said, for the past, probably the past three years. And I've always wanted to do this, but just never ever felt that I, I would be able to do it. So, um, I don't know, life is just too short not to, to try and, you know, do whatever you can in life that you kind of set forward. So that's, that's why I'm here. Um, I haven't designed any, um, patterns. I, um, I appreciate everybody that does and everybody that shares them, um, because if you guys didn't do that, unfortunately, I probably wouldn't be able to crochet. Um, another little thing about myself, I actually was hurt at work in 2013. And um, I now have a disorder. It's called complex regional pain syndrome. It is a nerve, um, nerve pain. And it is in my right foot, leg all the way up to my knee. Um, so that puts me out of out of sorts a lot of the time and I find that crochet is the one thing that um, I do to try and alleviate some of, of that pain and try to get my mind thinking on something else um, so I think that crocheting is a lot more than than just being able to do it for me anyway it gives me a lot more um, purpose behind it it's just not to be able to pick up yarn or pick up a crochet hook and make something it's also what I get out of it um, I'm a true believer in, um, and that's how I was raised, that um, it is better to give than to receive because when you give, you are receiving something. And I try to live my life life by that. So I do do tons and tons and tons of fundraisers. Um, I have a lot of local people here, family and friends. Um, they will message me and tell me that they have a fundraiser going on for something and ask if I can make something. I never say no and I never ever will. I believe as long as I have the power to hold the hook and I have the yarn, then I am good to go. Um, I've donated a lot of blankets, um, some baby cocoons, um, some hats, just little odds and ends. Um, but I loved it. It's so much fun. I love being able to make something and give it to somebody else and make them happy. Um, I'm not going to make this video very long because, I, like I said, it's just the introduction. And I don't think that that really needs to be that doesn't need to happen for a first video. So, um, but there is some people that I wanted to throw um, some shout outs to and thank them. So the first person would be Crystal at Begode. Um, you, Crystal, you are an amazing person. You always, you're so giving, so selfless, so caring, your whole family. Um, and I personally absolutely love how excited you get when you're able to, um, give your giveaways and you are always there with free patterns for people. Um, I just say thank you because you're a really good person. You make people want to do good things just for being in your life. You, you possess that on other people. So I thank you. The next person I'm going to thank is Zelda. Um, we've been talking on and off for a little while now. Um, I absolutely love all of your videos. I have watched, all the way from the first one all the way to the top one um and i just absolutely love your attitude i love how you're such a caring and loving person and but you 
you're just so honest and you you say it is and i like that because i know you have chronic pain and so do i um so i know we take a lot of heat from a lot of people and that it shouldn't happen that way we shouldn't have to worry about that um another little side note i have made your stuff and i have shipped it off so if you do have it or when you get it if you can make a video or just message me and let me know you got it um i'd greatly greatly appreciate that um i would also like to thank rose likes crochet rose and carrots you guys crack me up um never a dull moment when you guys this video is around um and your work is like just stunning i absolutely love it rose you you your stuff is so beautiful um another person i wanted to say thank you to was zach stout and the reason i'm saying thank you to you is because you you are the person who lit that fire that made me decide that I'm going to give this a shot because even though you were scared, you're apprehensive and you weren't sure if you were going to be able to do it, people told you that you should and you tried and, and now you find it as a good way to, to kind of cope and deal with different things in life and you share a lot of um, your experiences um, and I appreciate that. I, I, I say thank you very much because really you are the one the person that made me decide that I, I'm going to try and give this a go. So thank you, Zach. Um, I also wanted to thank um, Hannah at the Cozy Cottage. Uh, absolutely love your um, your posts. They are, you're just so quirky and so fun. And I just, I just love that about you. Um, I enjoy watching all of your videos. So um, I hope that we can um, get to know each other maybe a little bit more. And uh, yeah, just enjoy crochet. Um, then I also wanted to thank, um, Zines and Roger. Um, I've been watching you probably for the past maybe a week or so, and I think I'm on episode 45. Not very many more to go, and that makes me sad because I like to binge watch. <laughs> but, um, your work is super, super nice. Um, and I'm so, so glad that you get published because I, I believe that you deserve that your your designs are beautifully put together and even though you're a little bit hard on yourself and i get that because i can be that way too you really don't need to be because your stuff is beautiful and um yeah i just enjoy watching your your videos um and then set is place um set you just crack me up because you have to be you have to have the most cutest little laugh ever and you just you love all the the people in your life that share the same love for you and, and it just it just shows that you can just see that straight out so i say thank you to you um i haven't been watching you for a whole whole long time um but i am you know working my way up the list as well so your designs are fabulous i love all your happy mail that you do i love all i, I just love everything you're just a really down-to-earth good person <coughs> sorry and then the last person is uh crochet luna you were very very new to me however it does not matter how many of these videos I have watched, each and every single person has mentioned you at least once. And they have said how lovely and a great and a giving and a caring, thoughtful person you are. So I thought I needed to check that out and I agree with them. And you have some really awesome, awesome, awesome um, patterns. Your videos are great. Um, I look forward to being able to um, watch a lot more of your videos and maybe chat with you at some point. So I say thank you to you as well. Like I said, I'm not going to drag this out because I just don't really think that for a very first video needs to be dragged out. It's just kind of an introduction. Um, but if you know, if you guys could um, subscribe um, and like my video and um, I'm always, I'm always up for pointers. So if there's something that you see that I could do better or something I should add in or something I should take out or anything like that, I, I truly, truly would appreciate any of that feedback. Because remember, this is new to me and I'm never in front of the camera. Um, and on the last note, I'm just going to throw this out here. If you are coming um, to this page to give a thumbs down or to leave ignorant comments, that's fine. You're entitled to do that and that's fine. But I just need you to know that you're wasting your time because I'm not going to add or act on any part of that. So if that's something that you stand proud with, then by all means, please do. But please know that this is falling onto someone who is not going to put up with that shit because I just don't have time in my life to have to worry about that. 
and I believe if your interests aren't the same as mine then maybe you should you know go on there and type in your interests and it'll come up and you can you can be interested in what you're you're seeing um it is a free country and yes we we can we can say our own opinions and, and I appreciate people's opinions um but if they are negative opinions then you need to know that I'm going to have nothing to do with that. So that's, that's kind of my, my end note, but I will be back. I have tons and tons of finished projects. Um, I have a few whips on the go. Um, yeah, I just look forward to being able to get to know you guys a little bit better and, um, I'll continue to watch all your videos cause I love you guys. So that's it. You guys take care and have a good one and until next time, have fun crocheting. Bye-bye.